Hello. Today I wanted to share one of my favorite apps that I use for retirement planning and investment allocation balancing, and that's Personal Capital. It is a free app to use doesn't cost you anything. They have personal finance advisors that you can that you can pay for if you'd like to. I've never I've never talked to any of their financial advisors. They will remind you every time you sign on that it's available to you, but you don't have to. And it's a it's a robust app that you can also use for budgeting. I prefer Mint for budgeting. Mint is dialed in a little bit better and I'm used to it. But they have uh, budgeting, investment planning, and retirement planning. The fun thing is is if you think something will change. For example, I've played with it where my blog is making money and YouTube's making money. You know, in a perfect world, all these little projects I have would make money at some point, and I can see what it'll do to my retirement planning over time. But then for a more realistic approach, I, I plan it with just the things that are currently making me money. So I have my dog walking in there, I have eBay in there. You can put your social security benefits in there as well and you can see realistically what you're going to get you can also plan it without social security if you don't think that social security will be around when you retire and i have found it to be an app that gives me a lot of peace of mind i can retire in as early as five years or i can see what it'll what it'll do for my monthly uh, income in retirement if i wait for 10 years and of course anytime something changes i can go into the app and i can make the adjustments which i really like and I can see what that's gonna do. It helps me stick to my budget, stick to my savings plan, keeps me on track. And it also gives me the peace of mind knowing that with what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna be fine. If you'd like to see a little bit more about that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit. When you sign up, all you have to do is put an email in there and you have to link your bank accounts, which you have to do with any of these. It also shows you your net worth and it shows you if you're on track for your savings goals. In the first column, it shows you all your bank accounts and your current net worth. And then at the top bar, it's got overview, banking, investing, planning, and wealth management. The wealth management is where they're gonna try and make some money, where you can open an account with them, you can schedule a call, you can talk to an advisor. If you're not comfortable doing any of this yourself, then of course you need a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just sharing what I do as far as retirement. I use this primarily for my retirement planning. I like to click over on the retirement planning section, but on that same section under planning, it's got retirement planner, savings planner, a retirement fee analyzer, and an investment checkup. And I like those because what it'll do is it'll tell me if I'm, if I'm overweight in one category or not for the investment section. And then for the retirement planner, it tells me, you know, you put in a few assumptions. You put in at what age you're gonna retire and the current incomes that you have, you put in when they're gonna stop. Like I can plan when I'm gonna stop dog walking, when I'm gonna stop doing eBay, when maybe something else will kick in and how long it will last for. For example, I'm writing a blog and I've got a couple YouTube channels with the goal of someday having them monetized. Right now, none of them are because they're all new, but they're my little projects and I'm hoping that within another year, they'll all be monetized and they'll be making a small amount of money. You know, in a, in a fantasy world, they'd be making a large amount of money, but they probably won't. They'll probably be making hopefully a small amount of money within the next year. I'm about six months in on my YouTube channels and the blog is about this. I started everything about in uh, last September. So they're all about six months old. Nothing's making money yet. I've heard that's normal. I've heard that within the next few months I should start seeing little trickles come in. So that's, I'll keep you posted if that happens. But if not, two year, the two year mark is about where if I've done it correctly, I should start to see some income from all of them. So I've got about another year and a half but they're not part of my retirement planning. They can be once they start generating income, but for right now, I've done the planning without them. And on personal capital, you can go in and you can plan you know, how old you are currently, when you're gonna retire, what you're gonna make, and it'll put up this graph that'll show you if you're on track or not for your goals. And I love that. Um, it shows me with the things that I'm doing that I'm in they call it very good shape for retirement. 
it's a 96% chance that my portfolio will support my goals, which they take into account recessions and some other things. So I'm comfortable with that. And then you can also put in here, like on mine, I've put in that I want to buy an RV next year, that I want to go on a vacation every year, that in another few years I'll, I'll need a new vehicle. I've put all of that in my spending goals, in my retirement plan, so I can see that those won't, those won't make me homeless. And then I can also put in healthcare at what age, you know, if I needed a nursing home or if I needed extra healthcare. I can put that in the plan too. And I've just put that in the plan based on what my mother and my grandmother needed. When I came to take care of them, I know at about what age things start happening. And it could happen sooner, it could happen later, but you know, it's just a rough estimate. And it's a plan. It's not, uh, it's not a directive, it's a plan. So I plan. And the nice thing is I can plan exits on uh, more intensive, like, you know, I can't be 90 years old one. So at some point I have to stop and I have to know that I'll be financial. You know, the eBay I could probably do a little longer because it's not as physical but the dog walking will probably be the first one. That, and you know, nothing's going in the next five years. I, I feel like I'm healthy enough and strong enough that I can keep going and I enjoy, I enjoy both. So I don't plan on quitting either of those right away. But it's nice to know that if I had to, that I, I could and within the next five years, I could stop everything and I'd be fine based on the, the numbers, the amount of money that I've saved so far and, and what I'm putting back each month. It also tells you you can plan, you know, like how much you're going to save each year. I like that, that the app figures all of that out for you. I think it's important to have a plan. I am a planner by nature. I'm not one of these spontaneous fly by the seat of your pants types of people. I like to, to plan for emergencies. I like to plan for economic hardships by having a savings account. I like, I have, you know, extra food in my pantry. I have an emergency fund. This is just one more layer of planning that I do. It helps me sleep better at night. I like that the app is free. It's easy to use. It was easy to navigate. And I'll drop a link below. There's, it's not an affiliate link. There's, it's not sponsored or anything. It's just something that I've enjoyed using. And I think that it would benefit anybody who's starting to think about you know, retirement, which should be everybody who wants to retire at any point. It's kind of nice to be able to work backwards. If you know when you want to retire, you can put that number in and you can see if it's possible. And if it isn't possible, you can play with the figures until you make it possible. And then instead of just dreaming about it, you can actually do it. So without, without actions and the thought to, to do something, you'll never get there. You have, to, you have to dream big, but then you also have to plan to make the dream a reality and figure out what little steps you have to take each day and each month and each year to, to be able to retire. So if this helps anybody, I am thrilled. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. It would really help the channel out. The channel's growing very slowly and it's, it's a little discouraging. Um, so if I can get any feedback from you, if you like this or if you don't like this or what else you would like to see, I would, I would love to hear it because I know that I'm not, um, I'm not growing real fast, I'm not an overnight success by any means, but I would like to share content that's valuable and interesting to you, so I would love to know what you would like to see more of. And if you enjoyed this, please like it, consider subscribing so you can see more, more like it. Thank you so much for your time.